A medical team at the University of Alberta is pioneering a potentially life-changing procedure that could improve or even restore vision loss. Global Sulin Go has more on the clinical trial that's the first of its kind in Canada and only the second in the world. Mark Heiser Waringa will never forget the day a doctor broke the news. You've got a retinal disease, you know, that, so that sounded kind of bad to me. And then they, you know, the next part is, and it uh, leads to blindness. Okay, well that sounds really serious. And then the third part was, which is the you know real kicker, is that we can't do anything about it. Nothing can be done about it. He was in his 20s at the time, diagnosed with choroideremia, a rare genetic disease that causes photoreceptor cells in the retina to die. But Mark will soon be one of the first patients in Canada to undergo a groundbreaking procedure. The reason this is very exciting is this is a very experimental and new um, potential treatment for blindness. And there's very few trials that have been conducted around the world. For me, it's a wonderful experience to be able to link patients who have been expectantly waiting for something like this to happen. Patients with choroideremia have a faulty gene. The Edmonton team will replace that with a functional copy of the gene carried in a virus. So you take a, a virus and you remove its nasty properties. So it's properties that, that make it cause disease. But you piggyback on that virus's ability to deliver genetic material into a cell. The virus will be injected by local surgeons who went to the UK to learn the technique. A similar trial at Oxford University gave eight patients there promising results. Some people are saying, you know, I haven't seen the stars for decades. I can see stars again. Mark has been involved in fundraising for the Edmonton research team for the past eight years. As his vision slips away, he hopes gene therapy will help him and his family. I've got three daughters, so the reality, the likelihood of it occurring down the generational line is so high. You know, it's a big burden on them uh, to know that they're not going to, you know, that this research means that that's not going to be a big deal. Sulingo, Global News.